Hi everyone, this is Angelica again. I'm going to make another video today and this one is a request that I received through um, my website. Let's see, I don't even know exactly what it's called yet so let me just see. Um, it's called, um, oh this is a different one than what I thought I was doing. Okay, wait a second. Okay, this one that I wrote down is a different, a different um, request and I'm not going to do that one today because I think it's more important that I focus in on this one and I'll try to just remember a little bit about what the email said. Um, this one is going to be about, so it might be titled, I'll have to think of the title later, but this is going to be about um, really cultivating and really owning your true inner power and who you are fully confidence okay it's about confidence being confident in who you are and um, speaking your truth and um, just feeling like you know what's right for you no matter what and I think what this had to do with um, if I can remember correctly is um, this particular person um, is has gone through a spiritual awakening and had to um, leave an old relationship and at the same time leave behind a lot of friends because um, she, um, was just changing a lot. And so now she's kind of like, um, in this place where she's not very confident with what's happening, uh, with her. Um, well, she is within herself, I think, but not with other people. And so, um, she wanted to know how to become more, um, pow powerful or more confident in, um, her knowing and her being. So, now, this is a really good um, video topic because um, some people hide behind certain things um, in order to make themselves feel like they are um, confident or powerful in probably the wrong way. Um, what happens along with the spiritual awakening process is that you... Um, by really moving through some of these inner emotional um, things and by healing these things that are asking to be healed um, through the dark night of the soul or, you know, just on its own, these things that are coming up and really taking a look at all the parts of yourself um, so that they can be healed and transformed. Um, this is a lightning process and this makes you all in its own more confident. Now, I think a lot of times when you're in the middle place of like leaving your old life behind, the relationships and the friends, and obviously you're going to always have your family. Um, whether you talk to them or not is your own choice, depending upon if their behavior is, you know, healthy or not. Um, sometimes it's not, and so therefore you just got to like leave them where they're at and just talk to them on the holidays or whatever you do, you have to do. Um, but my point is, is that when you're in kind of like the middle, um, transition stage of, of spiritual awakening, you can feel lonely and you don't know, um, where you're at in, within yourself. Okay. So you don't fully feel very confident because, you're not to where you're going to be yet. You don't know exactly like firmly and strongly what it is that you believe. Now, you may have somewhat of an idea of your good qualities or what, you know, your mission is. You may um, start to uncover some of these things even through your dark night of the soul or even through this confusing time because if you're in this place of really healing and moving through some of this emotional pain you're kind of clouded okay you don't feel very powerful you don't feel very strong in who you are and you may not have met anyone new that's similar to you in vibration for one there's not many of us out there okay people are not normally awakening and caring about others, the planet, um, being healthy, um, doing the right thing, um, really being responsible and taking a look at their own inner pain and um, being courageous enough to deal with that. Um, being just a, a 
in general a really upstanding person and being very courageous and powerful in that sense. People are not wanting to do that, okay? Obviously, we understand why. It's very difficult, and so we have compassion for them. It doesn't mean, however, that you have to have them in your life. Because if you have people in your life that are doing things that are not in alignment with your spiritual path, and um, what you're currently doing, then they can drag you down. They can take you back. They could take you back into the places that you've already healed. So you don't want to, because you're lonely or because no one else is in um, an awakening state like you are, you don't want to, you know, go and like hang out with the same types of people because you know that that is dangerous. You know that that is not what your higher self is telling you to do on your path. So, um, just speaking about this particular girl that wrote me a letter, um, just know that right now you're kind of in this place of not knowing. You're kind of transforming into your new self. And that's, that's the reason that I make these videos. Because this is the part of the process that people are like just completely discouraged like why is this happening like you know you feel like you can't make it through another day because you're so sensitive you're so in tune you want to help so much yet you feel like you can't do anything you just feel like you're all alone and you're the only one that's sensitive and you're the only one that wants things to change on the planet and you're the only one and um you're not getting a lot of support from the outside. Well, I made a prior video concerning being lonely on the spiritual awakening path. And I think in that video, I touched upon just a little bit about um, you need this time in this transition time to be to yourself, okay? Because some of your greatest healing and your, you know, your bigger, your biggest leaps forward in your evolution and growth as as an awakening individual is going to happen in those times when you're alone you cannot go off of what anybody else is doing you cannot go off of what anybody else is saying you have got to only go off of you and your own heart and your own inner knowing all the people out there are on their own path and they don't know what's right for you so you have to constantly keep moving forward on your path and what's good the best thing for you now as far as the powerful feeling and the confidence goes, you will um, eventually get to a place where you're so grounded and you're so sure. You have your morals, all the values, all the things that you truly strongly believe in to know that are right. Not for any of them out there, but for you, okay? And that's what it comes down to. You know in your heart and soul what is the best for you. And once you know that and have that firmly set into place, then you can start dealing with other people because other people, you only want certain people around you in your space so that, you know, you can grow and spiritually evolve and do your best work in the world. Continue forth on your mission in helping everybody else and and just doing what's right for you for your heart for your higher self for your higher purpose for your mission so this is all a process and this takes some time so if you have to kind of go into your little cocoon before you become the butterfly then that's fine just shut everybody out you know what you're gonna find that you're your own greatest um, that's what it was. <laughs> now I remember. Oh my gosh, so it was self-confidence and self-love. Okay, well now that the video's over, <laughs> I'm going to make a whole new video about self-love and I'll write that down. But it was self-confidence and self-love. So I will make, I know I've already made a prior video to it, which she mentioned, but I'm going to make another one because, you know, as things go on, I probably have more to say about self-love now. Um, okay. As you get through this process, your love for yourself has grown to such a point that you want to be with yourself all the time. And if other people come along to be in your, you know, your bubble or your, your space, 
your awareness, if they come in to want to be there, then they have to meet you on your same level. You cannot allow people into your world or your life that are not going to be beneficial to your for further growth and their further growth. You know, what's the point? There's no point to that. Um, it just ends in a lot of pain and misery um, for everybody. And we're trying to grow. We're trying to evolve. We're trying to awaken the planet so that we can kind of move not just ourselves out of misery, but everyone out of misery. Okay. That's the purpose of all of this, all this awakening. There's so much going on in the world right now that needs to be changed. Okay. The earth needs us right now to be strong. We need to fix ourselves first. And by fix, I don't mean that we need to fix our, our inner nature and our inner essence, but we have to heal our pain. Okay. And like I've said in prior videos, if you're one of those people who not only has to heal your own pain, but has to also transmute, um, different energies and pain from the earth or from other people or from your family, then that is what you have to do as well. You have to do what you came here to do, but guess what? We always want to skip over the healing ourselves part and just go out there and do our thing and help everybody. You can't do that. You have to heal yourself first. And that is a process. And however long that process takes, I don't know. It could take anywhere from like two years to five years to 10 years. Okay, if it takes past 10 years, then I think that you're, that you're doing something wrong. Um, even five years. I think if you're really adamant about healing yourself and working through this, spirit will show you the way and you got to listen. And a lot of that requires being alone. A lot of that requires um, a lot of darkness, a lot of feelings that are uncomfortable. And that's just what you've got to do. But after that, then comes the confidence. Then comes the self-love. Then you realize you're just really sure of yourself and what you're doing. And that will come for everyone on this path. Everyone on this path will be there at some time. It just takes a lot of trial and error and thinking and um, ruminating in this darkness and these feelings until they all kind of leave and go away until they're resolved, okay? Okay, um, so thank you so much. Um, obviously, this video is going to be about self-confidence and um, whatever else I just talked about. <laughs> um, and I'll make a new one about self-love. So thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you. If you would like to schedule a spiritual guidance session with me, please go below the video to my website, and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.